Hello, my lovelies. This is going to be our weekly shadow work. We're going to start with conversations with our inner self. It is a two-part deck. You can uh, sit and talk about how these things make you feel. That's how it's designed to work. You can journal about them. So let's see what our triggers are that we need to address with our first part, identifying what are the triggers that we need to see. Maybe if I could shuffle today. All right, show me some triggers for my collective that they need to work through. Self-talk. How do you speak to yourself when you're angry with yourself? Does it differ from how you speak to yourself when you're angry with other people? So what is your self-talk like? Inner voice. What inner voice do you try to silence? Is it your critic or your intuition? Your ego or your intuition? The inner child. In your childhood, what did you not receive? And how has this impacted you? Holding on. What are you holding on to that still hurts you deeply? Self-esteem. What is the relationship between your shadow self and your self-esteem? And inner teen, what do you wish someone would have told you as a teenager? All right, so let's see how we integrate, how we find the balance. That's part two. Let's see what we need to see. Childhood memory. Think back to a time that you felt hurt as a child. Imagine you could speak to your child self at that moment. What would you say? Five lives to live. If you had five imaginary lives to live, what would you do and be like in each one of them? Purpose. How can your shadow self help you understand your purpose? Releasing anger. I can feel my anger melt away when. Humor. In what ways does your shadow self reveal itself in your sense of humor? Mine's a little dark and I don't care. <laughs> Authenticity. How can you use your shadow self to become more authentic? And forgotten self. What aspects of your personality have you forgotten? All right, so that's part one. Now let's get into our shadow reading. All right, Spirit, show me what we need to work on this week. We're almost to holidays. That's triggering by itself for a lot of us. What do we need to see this week? What do we need to work through? What are the triggers and challenges that we could be facing? All right. Well, part of the challenge that we're facing is trying to find the balance. And I feel like most of the time that needs to come from within. So there's something that's imbalanced. I feel like something is a little bit broken. And part of this is something's a little broken inside of us that we need to work on healing in order to, they're giving me the words, repair something. Ironically, in this cup, she's got a chip in the giant cup here. So I almost feel like something's missing in our life that would help us to restore the balance. What is that? What's missing in your life that you need in order to feel fulfilled? Is it love? Is it respect? Is it understanding? There's something here that is off balance because we are missing a key element to make us feel fulfilled. So spirit's trying to bring in that fulfilling missing piece that will fit just right. It's like a missing piece of the puzzle. I feel like what Spirit's trying to tell you is that you're depleted some area right now, and so we need to start by practicing self-love and self-care to fill up that vessel. But we also need to work on repairing it so we don't lose what we are trying to pour in. So it's almost like you need to repair a hole somewhere and you can stitch it back together with the divine's help with understanding and nurturing and self-love and self-care. So I feel like Spirit's trying to give you the keys in order to repair the broken parts in order to feel fulfilled and balanced and trusting. 
The problem is, is that we're dealing with a lot of obstacles, a lot of temptations, addictions, codependency, toxicity, things with strings attached, or things that leave us feeling stuck, trapped, or bound. So we have to kick these bad habits out of our life in order for the divine to pour into us. That's not to say that the divine can't do that simultaneous, simultaneously, kick out the bad and fill you up with the good. They can. But I feel like you have to make a conscious choice for that to actually happen. So are you ready to do that? The lovers is a choice needing to be made. I feel like spirit wants you to choose yourself right now and maybe not focus so much on outside external love and relationships. I feel like if you're already in a committed relationship, it's also imbalanced at this time because both parties need to work at a common goal. I also feel like spirit's trying to take you in a new direction. This looks like a giant arrow to me. And so I feel like spirit's trying to tell you that they can take you to new heights with a partner but you also have to be willing to do the hard work internally in order for it to show externally. So there is a choice needing to be made. I feel like you need to choose balance and stability over toxicity and temptation. All right. The King of Wands. In the shadow aspect of this deck, he is very arrogant, he's very controlling, he's possessive, he's somebody who they're telling me is like a snake charmer. He's very charming, he's very alluring, he's very sexy, but when he's in this energy, he's ugly, and his soul is ugly in this energy. It's like he might be very insulting, he could be somebody who's just... He's nasty to be around. He's very selfish in this energy. And so that's not a good fit for anyone. This person could also have to do some internal work in order to find some balance. Is there anything else that we need to see for our shadow work this week? There we go. All right. So we're being faced with some sort of decision to let go of things that are no good for us. My nose is itching like crazy. So somebody really needs to stop worrying so much and make a clear decision. And that's what's going to help bring in the balance. You're stuck because you haven't made this choice. The other thing I would say is that the chariot in the shadow means there's no movement. There's no forward progress because we're still stuck on this person or this situation that is toxic or unhealthy. I feel like you need some goals for yourself and maybe you've given up on your future. Maybe you've given up on your dreams or your goals and spirits trying to tell you that they don't want you to do that. They want you to keep dreaming about the future. So you've got to start planning or setting some goals. I feel like you need to see the truth for what it is. And if something's not right for you, it's okay to walk away. No matter how long you've invested, no matter what the outcome is, it's okay to be in solitary energy. But you need to see the truth for what it is. If this is an unhealthy situation in your life, whether it's a relationship, a job, or whatever, you need to be honest with yourself and say enough is enough. There is this sense of confusion, but I feel like illuminating what doesn't work, illuminating any sort of obstacles, gives you that truth or that clarity in order to be able to make a wise decision. So how do we integrate? How do we find the balance this week? All right. We first need to nurture ourselves and others, and we cannot pour from an empty cup. So spirit wants you to first ground your energy, clear your mind, and take good care of yourself. Rest, relax, and recharge. The other thing they're telling me is that you are kind to everybody. So you also need to return that kindness, that love, that protection to yourself. You cannot pour from an empty cup. So you need to give those things to yourself first to feel uplifted and balanced. I feel like there's lots of frustrations around work and money at this time and spirit wants you to know not to give up. That just because things aren't moving forward yet does not mean that they won't in time, but it could still take some time about seven weeks seven months or seven years could be how long you've been working towards these goals but I feel like it's an important lesson for you that you're trying to learn and master and once you master it is when things go forward slow and steady is what wins the race here you cannot rush perfection you're gonna have to have some patience and be willing to do the hard work 
The Knight of Wands is somebody who's non-committal, so this person could be bringing some news, but I also feel like this person is not the right person to settle down with. They are pretty much non-committal. They also could be a little bit arrogant and full of themselves, and so it's not really a great fit. You will get the truth or the clarity that you need in order to weigh these options and to make a decision. And for some of you, if you're patient, your manifestations are coming in. But I feel like you have to release what's not serving you before you're going to see that. Remember that you have all the tools at your disposal in order to create the life that you want. So if you're not seeing it, what in your vision or your energy needs to change for that to come in. Then we have some forward progress, leaving the conflict, the chaos, and the toxicity behind and moving to calmer waters. And there we find somebody who will match our energy. He goes from very uh, arrogant, very negative energy to very positive. He's a leader in this energy. He's somebody who's charismatic. He's somebody who is a doer. He's very magnet magnetic to people around him and he is a doer he's going to achieve these goals and accomplish his dreams and if you're part of that plan he's going to help you to achieve your own dreams and goals so you could be opening yourself up to a whole new world of opportunities this week are you doing the hard work are you kind of soul searching or doing the reflection changing the things in your life that don't work in order to cross that finish line Yes, it might take you some more time. The time is not what's important. It's reaching that finish line and having things be good and in balance and things that are actually positive. We're trying to leave the negativity behind so that we can enter the 5D, the whole new world. So I feel like this card is telling you that you have some mountains to climb, but the view from the top will be worth it. You could be traveling, moving, relocating, closing out old chapters, triumphing over difficulties, and starting a whole new chapter in your life that is actually positive. Have a wonderful week.